All right, I think we are live. Are we live? I think so. <laughs> this was kind of out of the blue. Um, I didn't think that I was going to be streaming today, guys. Um, but I'm streaming today. I'm streaming for about an hour, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, and I know I don't. I didn't usually set up everything like I usually set up things. So uh, sorry about that. And we'll probably have people following in late. But this is going to be a special. But we're going to be talking about all sorts of stuff, uh, Q&A and all that. So, uh, so yeah, it should be fun. So, basically, you can ask random questions whenever you want. And um, we'll be letting people file in as more people just kind of come into the uh, chat. But I can only stream for about a little bit less than an hour. I got to go pick up my brother from the, um, from the bus station because uh, he's visiting here. And then we have to go do the Thanksgiving stuff. So, um so I still wanted to bring you guys some content though today and uh, you guys will have videos tomorrow as well Although one of the videos is kind of dated, but it goes over the Nintendo switch uh, firmware update 6.2 uh, uh, Goes over that uh, but it, it's before I talked about Pokemon Let's go Pikachu and Eevee sales But then I also have my thank you video for you guys tomorrow as well. So there's gonna be content tomorrow guys uh, Don't worry about that. You will have content tomorrow I don't know about a live probably no live stream though because it's Thanksgiving here in the US, but you will have uh, content on the channel. So that should be fun. Um, so yeah, today I just kind of wanted to just uh, hang out, uh, talk about the really good sales for Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, and also talk about uh, um, Warframe, how good Warframe is and kind of get you guys' thoughts and opinions, you know, on all of that. So um, if you guys can do me a favor, I know a lot of people aren't filed in yet because it's like I, I usually do the whole, you know, music and let people file in. YouTube notifications are garbage. Uh, if you guys can do me a big favor and everybody who is here, if you can hit the like button and share the stream, um, I'm going to be on. I'm going to share it real quick on Twitter. Um, just talking about like, hey, you know, the stream is up. So if you want to kind of chill for a bit before uh, Thanksgiving, that's cool. Uh, so give me one second, guys. Give me one second. Hey, what's up, Dank Meme Center? What's up, Party Man? Shout out to Elite Ninja Party Man's here. Elite Ninja Chubacabra's here. Shout out to Elite Ninja Ataki. What's what's up, Ataki? How you doing today, man? How are you doing today? Good good to see all the the regulars kind of file in. Uh, yesterday during our Warframe stream, we got a lot of new subscribers during our Warframe stream, so that was cool. Um, all right, so let's see. Let me go ahead and put the title real quick here, guys. We just started up. If you if you just got here, because I know people are still filing in. If you just got here, pretty much today's a special. Uh, I won't be able to stream for too long, uh, but we're going to be talking about Warframe. We're going to be talking about Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee's great sales. Uh, we're going to be talking about kind of the holiday Smash Brothers, kind of whatever you guys want. You guys can ask me questions at any point. Uh, I won't tell you to wait till the end. Uh, you can ask me questions at any point on any topic, for the most part, video gaming. Um, and I'll answer them, and I'll do my best to try to, you know, answer questions and put things together. So, um, so yeah, it should be a lot of fun for the next 50 minutes or so. Or so. All right. So, okay, I got the tweet out. Uh, Pokemon is a system seller. Absolutely, Dank Beam Center. Did you guys all see the... So basically, there was two different charts. So the thing about this, guys, is that there's the Famitsu charts, which I reported on the Famitsu charts because for some reason, um, I was awake at 1 something a.m. West Coast time this morning. I was awake and the Famitsu numbers came out first. So instead of waiting till the media create the Japanese, like the... Well, the, the other tracking source which is media create which is what most people use instead of waiting i just said you know what i might as well just stay up later and do the video you know like just do the video on the famitsu numbers and then i can make another video or i can talk about it in pe live with the media create so the media create actually tracked it uh switch sales at two hundred thousand. now media create is generally known to be the more i want to say more accurate but just more what people use more so than Famitsu, but that's not to say that Famitsu's numbers are wrong. They just track things differently. So it's kind of hard to tell, you know, um, in between like 200,000 to 180,000, that's what the Nintendo Switch sold roughly, roughly. It could have actually been a above that. So the sales, I mean, almost like 3.5 times the sales uh, from the previous week or something like that, triple the sales. Uh, I think last week the Switch did, or the previous week before this past week, the Switch did 53,000 units, kind of anticipation, and then 200,000 units uh, once Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee dropped. Uh, 665,000 units. Uh, Famitsu tracked it at 665,000 units. Um, the 
media create track the sales of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee at 660 like 1000 units. I think though Famitsu tracks download cards and bundles. I'm not 100% sure if Media Create does all of that. So I think that's the discrepancy, but none of them track digital sales and you know Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee's uh, number 1 on the eShop chart. So uh pretty pretty good stuff. Um, let's see here. Um, is Warframe good? I'm downloading right now. Oh, yeah, it's really good. Um, you, you didn't watch that. You didn't watch my video this morning, guys. Uh, make sure you check out the videos. Um, I actually have a video literally titled. <laughs> uh, the title of the video is um, I have a couple videos that I did. The, the first video is first time playing War, Warframe Nintendo Switch. This game is crazy. And then I have another video saying uh, Warframe is crazy good on the NS. So if you can't watch the video, at least look at the video title i mean if you're gonna ask me is warframe good yes i've made multiple videos on warframe at this point the game just dropped i had a nearly four hour live stream of the game saying the game is crazy and then i had another video this morning uh you know saying the game is crazy good so i i mean <laughs> you just got to see the videos my boy and you'll know exactly what i'm thinking on um especially if a game like, like warframe you know um so yeah, man, make sure you check out the videos. Um, if you guys haven't hit the notification bell, hit the notification bell so you don't come in here and ask me like a question that's like I already have like in the title like multiple times. Uh, not not that that's a problem. It's just like you know, um, all you gotta do is just look at least just look at the lineup of videos. You know, um, no Warframe today. Um, prob I mean there might be some Warframe if my brother wants to play. I might stream it with my brother. I mean, if he's down for it, but no, no camera because he doesn't do all that. So we might stream tonight, me and my brother co-op. And maybe, I mean, we can bumble around, <laughs> mess around in the game because we both are kind of noobs. Uh, so we can both kind of uh, mess around. So we might have a war stream, uh, war stream, Warframe live stream later tonight. I really like the game. I actually like the game so much. Not only did I, I, I actually captured my own footage for the video that I did that I did today. If you watch my video in the morning or if you watch my video today... I actually captured my own, which I usually don't capture my own footage because there's no point. I just capture, I just use trailers. I just use standard, you know, gameplay footage or whatever. But I, I liked it so much. I was like, you know what? During, like, I edited the first part of my video talking about the sales. And then in between me, I actually stopped editing, hooked up the capture equipment, captured that, captured that footage that you guys saw for the video today, and then finished the video. So... <laughs> That's how much I like the game. I want to try to squeeze into any type of gameplay. And then I actually played after I was done with the video. I did another mission after I was done. So I was up to like 3 something a.m. Uh, playing the game, editing. It was, it was a, It's a ton of fun, man. Um, let's see here. Pokemon Let's Go is doing its thing. Yeah, yeah, it is. Shout out to everybody that jo just joined in. Um, I'll go in and run down some things, guys. Uh, sorry for like the late start and everything. Um, you know, Thanksgiving is coming up. Uh, your boy had to get the workout in. You know what I'm saying? Had to get the workout in. So my workout went a little bit longer than I thought, and I stayed up a little bit later than I was going to think that I thought I was going to stay up. So that's everything just got pushed, you know, pushed over. Um, but um, we're talking. It's a special, so we're talking about anything you guys want to talk about. Uh, I'm discussing some of the stuff recently with Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee. We got the sales in Japan. Just the first three days of sales, over 660,000 units. Switch sales tripled, um, more than tripled, uh, 200,000 units for Switch sales. And we're also talking about how good Warframe is on the Nintendo Switch. Um, it was funny because I actually had some people on um, on Twitter, you know, kind of go back and forth. Just not not seriously, but just like saying like, hey, oh, well, they think that, you know, because I said that this is the best playing best looking best running game that panic button has done out of the bigger games that they've done uh people were bringing up like rocket league and i mean i know rocket league's big but it's not the same type of game as doom wolf 2 you know and this game and warframe to me is the best one and some people were trying to say do oh no doom's better i'm like nah man you can't you can't sit here and tell me where my channel's all themed off of ninja and sit here and tell me oh i think this game doom is better this game warframe it's it's a whole nother thing it's dropping it's like matchmaking co-op it's like you're flipping around you're running on walls there's like bullet time it's like it reminds me of like an an old game like made in the sixth generation but added with new modern things in it it seems like a game that would be made in the sixth generation because it came out in 2013 so that was the seventh generation so obviously they were working on it maybe at the very end of the sixth generation or something like that um it reminds me of a sixth generation game but just made modern because there's like a lot of the stuff in the game, like it, 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 
it's almost like a, that, that hybrid sixth and seventh generation game because it's like Borderlands too. It's got a little bit of Borderlands in it, but it's very um, it's very gamer centric. You know, it's very gamer centric, and I like that about games. They they throw you right into the action at the very beginning. There's no long wind up story. The controls are on point. Everything response timing. Everything is good and smooth in the game. It doesn't have all this BS that a lot of the modern games have shock value whatever we're gonna throw in this just because it's just a game it's like a gamer's game um and that's what i love about warframe more so than anything it's not like pushing all this other junk a lot of options a lot of customization I, war, if there ever is a warframe 2 it needs to just be a right i mean they can still do all the stuff that they do if they want to this whole like free to play version make a free to play version that's separate and then make a box retail version you know what i'm saying that has like 15 hours of story heck even 10 to 15 hours of story missions whatever the case is single player with multiplayer that you can join in right then and there that's kind of geared for that and i'll buy that for 60 bucks i'll spend 60 on that just to support the developers that because that's the only thing that i that's my only real negative about the game is just because it's just more of like a you know online type of thing like if you put your switch in sleep mode like after a while it'll just it'll boot you off the servers like stuff like that you know like if you have a regular box game you don't have a, well most of them at least you don't have stuff like that happening i mean some games are like destiny and all that that crap will happen to you if you're hooked up online but uh hopefully there's like a regular offline uh single player type of game for the next one uh and i know you guys are talking about a lot of different things let me get into i'm sorry i had to go on a long thing about warframe but warframe blows away wolf 2 warframe blows away doom i don't think those games are anywhere near as good as this this game has too many years of content too many years of things put together then released on the switch portable mode is freaking nuts too man i mean it, it, it's nuts in portable mode um all right patrick um M, M, ambly with the subscription thank you so much patrick welcome to the elite ninja village of player essence everybody here in the chat please welcome patrick um all right let's go in and get into some more of the comments and shout outs here uh uh is it matt matt nadu says uh people on twitter salty about pokemon let's go did good yeah people are pretty salty man i agree people are pretty salty about it um yeah warframe is definitely a good game for the ninja village um jordan for instance are we doing a podcast tomorrow lol um i don't think we're going to be able to do a podcast tomorrow because i'm going to be at my sister's house but if you want to make it up potentially on friday or saturday jordan we can do that but um <laughs> i don't think i'll be able to make it back in time uh because i'm going to be at my sister's house all day with family uh doing the whole thanksgiving stuff so um maybe uh jordan maybe friday if you're okay with that we can make it up on then um let's see here uh yo what's up robert how's it going how's it going today man good to see you here like always shout outs to elite ninja robert shout outs to casual casual verse and he says players this question for streaming how frequent would you have to stream on youtube before it messes with your channel and youtube's algorithm uh may make a separate channel because of it um it just depends to be honest it's gonna mess with your algorithm but you've got to weigh like the cost benefit like reward you know whatever you know what i'm saying like when you stream it's good for your channel but then again it can mess with your algorithm but then again it's good for your channel but then it can it can mess with your algorithm so it's up to you what you want to do um and to be honest i'm not even going to sit here and i act like i know what's going on with youtube i have no idea what's going on with youtube and i'll never understand this weirdo website so um if i were you man if you want to stream stream on the channel make videos um i would just say content is always king so whether it's through cool streams or whether it's through um, gaming. Um, but I would say this. I mean, if I am going to give, maybe that's not the best answer that you're looking for. I will say this. If you're doing just video, like gameplay, I would seriously suggest just doing that on Twitch. Just doing, if it's straight gameplay, um, if you're doing like talk shows or podcasts, those aren't too bad for YouTube and messing with your algorithm and things like that. But if it's just straight gameplay, I highly suggest just doing it on Twitch and importing it to your YouTube channel, splitting it up if you want to. Um, or whatever the case is, but that's just me. Um, let's see, Pokemon uh, Let's Go being a system seller could be a good topic on the Spawncast. Um, I don't think it, I, I think it's going to be a topic on the Spawncast. <laughs> I think that's going to be a topic on the Spawncast. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't think you have to tell John about whether it's going to be a good topic or not. <laughs> uh, DeAndre Jackson, what's up, DeAndre? Good to see you here, man. He said, did you read the Codex tutorials for Warframe? There's, uh, They are so clutch. Yeah, I read some of them. I haven't read all of them, but I, I have been going through them. But there's a lot of stuff in the game, man. Uh, what's up, Chupacabra? Uh, shout out to the Ninja L Chupacabra. It says, man, Warframe is legit. It is, it's legit. It's one of the best games on Switch, period. I, I don't even know how... 
it's like Panic Button said, uh, like, oh, you you think uh, like Doom rolled up or whatever, or Wolfenstein Two said it rolled up and was like, hey, you, you think this looks good? And then Warframe and Panic Button said, hold my beer, right? Is that the whole meme? Hold my beer. Did Warframe say, hold my beer? You think you think Wolf Two looks good? Hold my beer. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I can't sit here and put Wolf 2 in the same category as Warframe. It's not even close. Like the graphics options, the the the, the smoothness of gameplay, the looks, the co-op, the single player content, none of the forced shock value garbage that's Wolf, that's part of Wolfenstein. The Wolfenstein's trash compared to, to but that's just like I said, that's just me. Don't get mad at me. I mean, no, you actually, if you guys want to get mad at what I say, go ahead, get mad. But that's just me. I mean, I can't, I can't say this is Panic Button's best effort in my out of their bigger games. Not counting Rock, Rocket League's a great effort. Rocket League's a great effort, but I think that this is probably their best effort that they've done. It. I'm blown away by how good this game is. Uh, let's see here. Did you know the Warframe's partner program? Warframe's partner program. I haven't heard about that. What's what's that about, my boy? Edward Outcast says Warframe is my favorite Western game. Glad you liked it too. Yeah, out of this generation, Warframe is easily my favorite Western game. I don't think I've played a Western game this generation outside of indies that I like bigger third-party games. Like I don't think I've played a single game. A uh, Western game. I mean, maybe Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle, but even then, I think I like this game a little bit more than Mario plus Rabbids. So there, there haven't been many Western games that I've liked this generation. Uh, it's just, just because like I, I, I'm just not a huge fan of the games that have been released. Uh, like a lot of them that like, like a lot of the big Western games that I like, like for example, like Fallout, like Fallout Four. You know, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I put 60 hours into it. I played. I be. I mean, it, it's good. It's not bad. And I put more hours into the Xbox One version. But I mean, it's just. I don't know, man. It's just not. It's just that's. It's not it. Um, and Fallout 76. You know, yikes. Uh, like 95 gigabyte patch. Um, shout out to everybody that's joined in. Uh, we have a we have a special today. Random Q and A, guys. You guys can ask me anything that you want when it comes to video games. Uh, we can talk about Pokemon Let's Go sales. We can talk about Warframe. Uh, we can talk about Smash Brothers. We can talk about whatever you guys want. So uh, let it rip in the comment section. Just tag me um, or in the chat, live chat. Hashtag Player Essence at Player Essence. Uh, let me know. Uh, no need to try to you know, say anything crazy. Like I said, guys, I'll, I'm going to make sure I give you guys all attention. So no need to do anything crazy in the chat. Um, also, if you guys can hit the like button, that'd be great. Um, hit the like button, guys. Uh, show some love for the stream. Uh, retweet if you can, if you just joined in as well. Um, let's see. How long have you been a YouTuber? Uh, since, I mean, technically a YouTuber since 2011. Uh, but I've had multiple channels, though. And I wasn't full time throughout the whole thing and other stuff. So there's times where I took like a break before then and all that. Yo, what's up? Uh, Fury Tiger here. Shout out to the Late Ninja Fury Tiger. Good to see you here, man. Uh, Mag is really good in Warframe. Yeah, I'm actually using Mag, uh, Jordan. Um, let's see here. Uh, Chuba says, I'm loving all the salt people being uh, pissed up. Let's go as a big seller. Yeah, <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny, man. It's, it's good stuff. Good stuff. Really good stuff. Uh, did my chat freeze up, guys? Or is the chat still going? Um, is the chat still going? Um, VCIPZ says, um, players, uh, more people should be mad about Fallout 76 instead of Pokemon. Let's go. I, I think there's there's people mad, but I mean, it's just one of those things to where it's kind of like different types of fan bases, right? I think there's definitely people mad. Um, let's see here. NR Merit. So that's the Elite Ninja NR Merit. Good to see you here, man. When's your icon changing? Ah, one more month, NR Merit, and you, you're going to unlock the uh, Sharingan. A uh, Mankiku shooting gun, that is. Actually, you know, you know what, guys? I'm actually thinking about changing the headband emote to a basic, like, Sadara or, like, a, a, like Sasuke, like, when he first got his Sharingan. I think that makes sense of the progression instead of going from headband to Sharingan to um, Renangan. I think it should go from basic Sharingan to Mankiku Sharingan to Renangan. How do you, what do you guys think about it? I think it should go in that progression. So I'm probably going to change that headband emote to, like, a basic Sharingan emote. Um... Let's see here. Uh, Fire Blast Gaming says, OJ, uh, agreed. Warframe on Switch looks amazing. Yeah, it does look good. Uh, Torna came in the mail. Yo, it took a while, right? Did you just buy the game? Um, let's see. Warframe, you think you can take me? Don't forget. And then Doom says, don't forget me. <laughs> let's see here. Uh, Matt News says, Plus is trying to get used to the modification and upgrades in Warframe. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot, man. It's a lot. I'm, I'm kind of getting the hang of it, but I know I know I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm just going to play and have fun and make mistakes and do whatever. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Um... Warframe dropped four years ago, but it's not the same game that it is right now, though. That's the thing, VCIPZ. That's why it's an ongoing game. If you play the, if you play Warframe four years ago and you compare that to what it is right now, it's not the same game. It's definitely not the same game. It's like comparing. I would say it's even to a higher degree. It's like comparing Splatoon two when it first launched compared to Splatoon two at this point. There's so much new content they've added, so many different things, tweaks, adjustments, balances, new modes. 
I mean, I mean, and that's like a less of a time frame. We're talking about 2013. So what? Five years, you know, there's five years of content. So it's not the same. I mean, you're saying it dropped like four years ago as if it's the same game, but it's not like it's not. You're you're simplifying all the work the developers have done. You're crapping on it because you don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Casualverse says, uh, player, since um, how long do you think it took Panic Button to port Warframe? I think they said it took about a year to port Warframe from what I understand. Um, it's funny and fascinating how they are celebrities of Nintendo world right now. Yeah, pretty much. Andy Mine says, uh, player, since I know this is um, a bit off topic. Oh, no, we're talking about anything. Um, uh, it, um, if the PE podcast is going to be on Friday, can you do it a bit earlier so I can be on it? Um, it's been ages since I was on. Um, I'd have to check because I have other people on as well. Um, but yeah, if I can, what would be, a, can you DM me? What would be a good time for you? And maybe we can get you on, dude. Um, all right, man. Uh, what's up? What's up, Joey Taylor? Uh, yes, it's it's a live stream. How's it going, man? Good to see you here. We do live streams every day on Player Essence, except for tomorrow. We won't have a live stream tomorrow, but we will have content for you guys tomorrow on the channel. So look forward to that. Um, let's see here. Alonzo Vines says, Player Essence, did you get your 400 gigabyte SD card from Amazon yet? Um, it's coming in the mail today. I bought it on Monday, so two day shipping. So it's coming in the mail today. Um, Party Man says, uh, Player Essence, it's a shame that Sakurai has to go to Twitter and address that he can't please everyone no matter how hard he tries to please his fans. Yeah, the, the fans that are, that are, well, I'm not even calling them fans. The people that are sitting there and rebelling and, and, and shouting out against Sakurai, they can seriously go screw off. I have absolutely, I have no respect for the, I have no respect for anybody that does that. I have no respect. Those guys can screw off and not buy the game if they have a problem. Um, not have fun because, that, because you know, the, these people that are crying like little babies, shut up. Go out there and buy the game. You know that's what you're going to do. You're going to go. You're going. You're going to. You're going to. You're going to take your money. You're going to go to the. You're going to go to the game store wherever you get it, and you're going to buy the game. So sit down, shut up, and enjoy the game. I'm. I, I, I get sick and tired of these people, man. They're just freaking idiots, man. Don't know. Don't. They, they don't know any. No. No. The first part of development want to sit here and talk about. Like, like, act like they know like what Sakurai goes through when he makes a game. Get out of here. Um. Edward Outcast says, um, for a slow year, the Switch has got Smash, Warframe, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, Dark Souls. Yeah, and that's just a little bit. Yeah, I, and that's why I say I, I'll always dispute when people say the Switch had a slow year. I'll always dispute it. I'll always dispute it because these people don't know what the Wii U is. We, you can't tell, sit here and tell me it's a slow year, but then it's not. But if you went through the Wii U days, even the 3DS days, to be... To be honest, this is even more content than the 3DS ever got in a year. People talk about how the 3DS, you know, oh, has so much stuff. But yeah, the 3DS has been around for like freaking a decade. When the 3DS came out, man, dude, <laughs> my life was completely different when the 3DS came. It was everybody's life was com there were There are kids that weren't even born yet that are now here and playing games like when the 3DS came out. So the 3DS is amassed all of its games over a very long period of time. Um, it was pretty, it was sparse in between there at times with the 3DS. It's just, 3DS had a lot of impactful games. A lot of games that just like really hit really hard, like Pokemon, obviously, Fire Emblem, that hit really hard. There was like Kingdom Hearts, Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, that's some heavy, heavy hitters. But in, in terms of third-party support, uh, outside of Japanese stuff, man, I mean, they didn't, it, it didn't get stuff like Warframe, Wolf, Crash Bandicoot, it didn't get games like that. So, at least how good they play, right? Um... Let's see here. Uh, if you can make a clan for Ninja, I want to help you build it up. Uh, how do you get emotes again? Yeah, uh, yeah, DeAndre. Basically, how you get emotes, dude. Um, uh, where's the? If you look at the link in the description below, click the more button. Uh, if you if you're watching on mobile too, it works. Um, and um, if you say it says membership emotes. Um, and I'll go ahead and link the address if anybody does want to join up uh, with us here on Player Essence. We will be running. A, I got a clan in in. Uh, and uh, Warframe, so we will have an official clan. Um, I'll be talking about that in a video later. And then we will also be doing Super Smash Brothers as well. So if you want to join up, uh, there is the link right there. And that, that gets you the emotes. Or or if uh, YouTube isn't your thing, you can do Tier 2 on Patreon and up. And that gets you on my friends list and in our private Discord. Um, thoughts on the MPD results? Uh, I think we just got uh, the sales numbers. Uh, seems pretty standard affair. You had, um, just like I, I, I thought, uh, Red Dead Redemption uh, did a good boost. Uh, Switch was number two and Xbox One number three. So uh, kind of right in line with what I thought, right in line with the games of what I thought, Call of Duty, you know, uh, Red Dead. So yeah, man, uh, pretty pretty good. I think Super Mario Party was in there. Legend of Zelda's in there. Mario Odyssey's in there. Uh, so yeah, not bad at all. Uh, let's see here. When did, uh, when did you first play? I watched your first, was it? What does that, what the hell does that mean, Jordan? When did you first play? I watched your first, was it? 
I don't, I don't know what you're talking about, my boy. Uh, can you be a little bit more specific, uh, specific about what you're talking about? Be more Akuma says, uh, player, since uh, this Pokemon light game um, of Let's Go is a great preparation for training for the big one in 2019. The stubborn hardcore don't seem to understand um, <laughs> and turning off any newcomers to play 2019. Yeah, the funny thing is that if you go on Gematsu with the media create sales, uh, there's this crazy dude going around saying that uh, that Pokemon Let's Go is going to sell better than uh than pokemon <laughs> that than pokemon um the pokemon 2019 there's this there's this crazy guy that's going around saying that it's going to sell better which i find absolutely insane how the hell is pokemon let's go going to sell better than pokemon 2019 when in a year from now the switch is going to have like 15 not even it's going to have like maybe somewhere upward of like 20 something million more units out there on the switch something crazy no some crazy number like that <laughs> yeah so i mean this game is a nice introduction but 20, the pokemon 2019 game is going to blow it out of the water when it comes to sales but this is a good introduction it's good sales but pokemon 2019 is going to be nuts it's going to sell a lot more um so yeah um let's see here uh you have too many um blazer link blazer link dude I remember that name. How long have you been subscribed to this channel? I don't. I I haven't seen you around in a very long. Are you you're Are you an old school viewer, Blazer Link? I remember that name. Or maybe am I am I tripping? But let me know if you have you been around for a really long time. Um, said you have too many extremists crying about not getting what they want in a video game, <laughs> like they can do better. Yeah, seriously. Um, Let's see what do uh, what do people mean exactly with a slow uh, year, lower sales, big first party? Uh, I think it's it's a variety of different things. Uh, first, but mainly they mean first party games, first party games like good what they deem as good first party games. They're not necessarily talking about third party because if you're talking about third party, obviously Switch 2018 blows away Switch 2017. If you're talking about third party, um, let's see here. Uh, what's up, Gucci Dolphin? How's it going, man? Um. Okay, more details on the Warframe Partner Program. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. I'll check out that Warframe Partner Program. I'll check it out. I'll definitely check it out. Um. Gamatsu has the craziest people in the comments. Not the craziest, but they're definitely out there. Uh, was it your first Warframe? My first Warframe video. You talking about like Let's Play? My first uh, is the one that says like um. This, uh, you know, this game is crazy, you know, whatever. It was That was the first one that I did last night, like the three-hour one. That's my first Let's Play of Warframe. Um, but I've only done one real, like, gameplay-focused stream on Warframe so far. Yo, what's up, KG Reacts? What's up, Michael? Elite Ninja Michael O'Brien. Uh, he says, Blazer Link says, uh, yes, I've been here for a while now, player, since um, I will join your Ninja Clan soon um, uh, so we can throw down and smash. All right, cool. Yeah, I, th I thought I recognized that name, but you haven't been around for a while, dude. What's up, man? How, how you doing today? Because I am old school. Yeah, you're old school. Where, where have you been, my boy? Did you get some free time and just decided to stop by for today? Or were you not getting notifications? Not that it matters. I mean, I'm, I'm glad that you're here. But I just want to know uh, what's going on. Did you just not see the channel? What, what was going on? Uh, just so I can kind of uh, maybe fix it in the future so people that were old school uh, guys can come back, you know? Um, let's see here. Pokemon 2019 has to be a total disaster for it to sell less than Let's Go. I seriously doubt that's going to happen. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly um happy thanksgiving um all of you um have fun and pig out yeah i'm gonna eat a lot like i said i had to i had to do a little bit extra in the gym today guys because tomorrow it's going down with that underground uh chrono trigger turkey yeah man that's the underground turkey that underground smoke turkey cave story turkey yep we, we it, it's whew. man it's going to be good my sister's making all sorts of cool stuff so it's going to be fun um i will ask my mom uh to join you all right man yeah ask your mom um you know, I think I'm, I'm not sure if there's an age limit or something like that. But either way, man, if you can, that's cool. If you can't, that's cool. Um, it's all good, man. You can always watch. You can always enjoy. Uh, I always have great live streams with uh, participation with, with the chat. So you can always uh, do this for no problem. Um, what's up, Suzumi? How's it going? Um, let's see. Lion Star. What's up, man? David N, what's up, David N? How are you enjoying your David N? Can I ask you a question? Because David N, you were one of the Switch winners, right? Um, of, of course you were. You were like the one that won the first one. David, did you have a Switch before you got the Switch that you won from Player Essence and from um, Andre? Did you have a Switch? Because if you didn't have a Switch, 
dude that's awesome if you didn't have one but if you did i mean that's cool if you did have one but i just want to know did you not have one at all um let's see here uh michael o'brien says oh hold up let me move up a little bit more uh i missed some i missed some ones here uh dawson 31 says parsons how's it going oj did you see watch moto's video downplaying let's go sales saying they had a slow start i did not see that but watch moto doesn't know what the hell they're talking that's that's completely clickbait that's completely 100% clickbait if they did. Um, yo, shout outs to Bla Blazer Link. Let's go. Shout outs to Blazer Link hitting us with that membership. Thank you so much. Welcome to the elite of the elites here in the village. And of course, when Atachi comes, you know what's happening. You know what's going to happen. So we'll wait for it, chat. Also, shout outs to Adam Silver, the commissioner of the NBA has subscribed to the Ninja Village. Shout out to Adam Silver. Let's go, Slender Man in the house. Uh, <laughs> thank you for the subscription. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that Blazer link. Thank you so much to Amaterasu Burns through us all, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Um, enjoy your new emotes, my boy. And also, uh, there is a fresh Discord link that should work for the exclusive Discord. Um, it should be on the community tab. Just go to the community tab, scroll down a little bit, and then you should see the Discord link. It should be on there, ready to go for you, man, for members only. So check that out when you get the opportunity. If you want to get some matches in Warframe, Pokemon Let's Go Trading, we have all that good stuff there. General chat, want to meet up with the community. It's all there for you, my boy, on Discord. Uh, you said work-related stuff, Blair. Since I've been keeping off the channel for a while, but I'm going to try to show some more, um, show, uh, show some love more often, my boy. Hey, you're off to a good start, my boy. Thank you so much. I appreciate the membership, homie. I really do. Uh, let's see here. Rambo, uh, let's see. Rambo4 says, um, says um, uh, Blair, since are Nintendo fans the most toxic, toxic this generation than any other? Um, I don't know about this generation. I think some Nintendo fans could be pretty bad in the Wii era. So it just really just depends. It really depends, man. Um, I think it's more of just a small amount of people more so than most people. But hey, it is what it is. Um, you fry your turkey. Okay, fry turkey. Um, let's see here. What 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 game do you think is next for Panic Button? Able to win? Go ahead and tag me at Player Essence or hashtag Player Essence when you want to ask a question. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do next. I'm just happy with Warframe. I have no idea. I'm thinking that they're gonna announce their next game at the, at the Game Awards though, because they said there was gonna be a lot of talk next month. So I'm thinking the Game Awards. Um, let's see here. Uh, let's see. Here. Yes, I did have one before the giveaway. Okay, cool, cool. So it's always good to have two though, David. And I, I've noticed that having two switches is good. Having two switches is better than having one switch. I can tell you that right now because what you can do is that you can have one in one room. You can have one straight up dedicated to portable play. You can have one dedicated to, to docked play. You can have you can link your account, you know, and then have everything just transfer over. I mean, it, it's it's cool, man. So having two switches is definitely better than having one switch. I have a I have a work switch where I get all my like, review codes and all that stuff. Then I have my own switch that I play out in the living room. Uh, with Warframe, it's seamless, right? Because of the, the diff, like the linked accounts with the multiple switches so it's seamless like i just i can just play warframe out there that i can play warframe inside here you know so it's, it's really good um let's see here patrick um ambi says uh speaking of how much warframe has grown um has grown have you seen a uh, fortuna um no is that like a, a part in warframe or whatever I, i'm not there yet if that's the case um let's see here what's up carl cregan how you doing today man good to have you out in the stream good to have you here man good to have you here um any mention of watch moto makes you think of a toby pretty much yeah um a little dual disc says i haven't seen that name before welcome to the uh live stream dude uh guys and sorry this one's not going to be as long and it's 2 20 p.m where i'm at i'm probably going to be streaming for about another maybe 20 25 minutes i gotta go pick up my bro so this one's not as long but the replay will be up really soon so if you want to watch the replay and what we talked about and everything uh feel free to do so um Let's see here. Let me let's see here. Yo OJ, would you be? Hold up, Yo OJ. What would be your ideal world setting for Xenoblade Three? Monoliths or slash Monoliths new IP. To be honest, man, Monoliths Soft. I have so much trust in them. Whatever they do, I'm just ready to play, man. I'm just ready to play whatever they got for me. You know, I'd rather be surprised. I don't know what I I don't know what the ideal would be, but like I don't know, man. I'm just ready. Whatever they got, I'm ready. Let's do it. Let's see here. 
Um, Michael O'Brien says, it was tough to be a Nintendo fan in the Wii generation. I lost faith in Nintendo with that machine. Yeah, it's so funny because uh, some people say that, and some people say, oh my gosh, like the Wii got me back into it. So it just really just depends, you know. Um, casual versus player, since uh, you see the eShop right now, massive sale there. Doom at 30 bucks with Warframe, uh, no surprise. Old panic button versus new men in black. Uh, you drive in, hold it, bust it, uh, yeah, watch all the new hotness. Yeah, man. Uh, well, I mean, the thing about it is that I think that, that that was going to be planned no matter what. Doom was due for a sale. But there's some really good sales. There's a lot of good indie games on sale, too. Um, I think it's like Bastion, and I saw like The Messenger. I'm going to pick up a bunch of indie games. This uh, That Black Friday, so I'm going to pick up The Messenger. I'm going to pick up Bastion. I'm going to pick up Transistor. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of indie games for the, for the Black Friday sales. Um, so, yeah, man. I'm excited about that. Got Resident Evil Gold. Would you guys like a Resident Evil uh, 7 Gold Edition live stream on the channel? First... First time playing ever. All that new content on there. $10, $10 live stream. Let's go, baby. <laughs> $10. Let's go. Let's go. $10 for Resident Evil 7 Gold Edition. <laughs> Fortuna is the new big DLC. Oh, Switch doesn't have it yet. Okay, they, they did say that it's going to have content parity um, by twenty nine, some point in 2019. So we'll get that in 2019. Uh, get so many Switches you can throw them as Ninja Stars. Yeah, they're pretty durable too. <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Uh, Blazer Link says, um, are you going to live stream the Game Awards 2018? I'll be at work, but I'll be watching it. Yeah, I'll be live streaming it on the channel. Yeah. Um, let's see here. I want to try to do my own video on Warframe. Go for it, man. Um, go for it. What's up? Nothing. How's, how's it going today? How you doing today? Nothing. Um, Carl Green says, man, I haven't uh, named what. Oh, yeah. Watch Moto in years. Yeah, I don't watch Watch Moto. They're not. I don't watch them. Uh, 665 Steven says, Parsons, um, are you going to pre-order Cosmic Star? For the Switch physical copy, uh, no, because I already have the game on the. Uh, I already played the game on the channel. I already have. It. I got a. Re I got like a review copy of the game. Yeah, so I got a review copy. So no, I'm not gonna pre-order a physical edition of it. Um, and there's no real leveling in the game. There's no power leveling or anything, which is just me. It's it's a good game, but I'm not gonna pre. No, I'm not gonna pre-order it. Um, David N says, uh, player, since uh, you mentioned uh, getting RE7 for ten dollars, how I thought it was going for twenty at Best Buy. Yeah, I had two five dollar rewards coupons uh, from Best Buy, so I got it for ten dollars. Uh, ten dollars and seventy one cents to be exact with free shipping, but it takes it takes a lot of ship. When you took when you pick the free option, it takes a lot of ship. So it's coming next month. It'll be here on Monday. Um All right, take it easy, Lion Star. Thanks for coming out to the stream, man. Um B -b 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 -more says, Did you enjoy flag football game on Monday night? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I talk about that. Yeah, it was that was one of the best games that I've ever seen in my life. Chiefs versus Rams, it was a great game. Uh switch it up, says player since um Yo, we got a new we got a new Patreon. Yo, shout out to DeAndre Jackson with the five pledge five dollars via Patreon. You know when we pledge on Patreon, we're really feeling it. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. And being one of the Elite Ninjas, of course, you got access to um, the Discord. Uh, no emotes, though, unfortunate. You don't get access to emotes just because there's no way I can link it. But you do get access to our Discord and on my friends list. Uh, there should be a fresh link on the uh, Patreon. So if you just scroll, you should see the Discord link. Uh, there should be like one of the most recent ones. Just hit the more and you'll see the Discord link if you want to uh, link up with other people. Make sure you read the rules, too, for all the new uh, members and Patreons. Uh, read the rules before you uh, start posting and stuff like that. So all good um thank you so much though i appreciate the uh, five dollar uh, pledge man i really do um let's see here uh got runner for two dollars and 59 cents nice nice um my brother's texting me and says okay as a heads up uh, okay so yeah he's gonna be there at three so we'll end the stream about like about probably end it like at 240 so something like that so i can go get some gas and go pick him up um i'm about to get south park stick of truth for 14.99 dollars 99 nice uh, nice dude that's a good deal um i think it was hard to convince people about the wii u it's hard to be a nintendo fan during that that was probably the hardest time to be a nintendo fan was during the wii u era i've never seen so much toxicity um between like thrown at a system than the wii u um man intensify or mav intensifies <laughs> that's a funny name so this player says could you have one deal um if you could have one dlc character of your choice get in a smash dlc which one would it be um, I'm going to already think that, or like that Rex is going to be in. So I'm just going to say Chrono, but it'd be Chrono or Rex. One of those two. Um, let's see here in the house game. He says, Hey, player S and sorry, I couldn't watch the full live stream last night. My internet was down and I was using limited data on my phone. Uh, you don't have to apologize for that. Um, let's see. Oh, you bought fractured, but whole, yeah, you know, I, I've tried the, the South park games. They're just, they're just not for me, but they're, they're good games. 
Um, yeah, Fortuna is the largest update. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming out um, next year. It's coming out next year. I just don't know when. Uh, switch, uh, switch it up. Says players. See, this is the reason why I just want a box copy, dude. Like, if we could just get like a box copy of Warframe, just has everything on there, and like we can play it offline too. That'd be great. You know, I just, I really want them to do a Warframe too, and just do a box copy of the game. I mean, like, I think they can make a lot of money. I honestly do think that. I mean, I know that this this microtransaction model and this this model is working for them, and I get it. But I think they can make. I think they can do this same model, then also make a normal box copy and make a ton of money as well. But that's just my opinion. Um, Almost like like GTA Online and or in GTA, right? Like GTA 5 and GTA Online or Red Dead Redemption 2 and then Red Dead Redemption Online. Red Dead Redemption 2 Online or whatever, you know? Um, I think they can do the same thing. Um, it's not going to sell as much as those games, but I'm just saying like they can have that type of setup, you know? Um, let's see here. Uh, P Patrick says, okay, I already read that. Uh, okay, switch it up. Says, uh, this was a response to the Xenoblade 3 world. Whatever they do, um, I would like to see uh, the Titan you're on battle, another Titan in real time. Uh, like you can see the fight uh, while on the Titan. Yeah, that'd be that'd be interesting. But I don't know how, I mean, gameplay wise, how fun would that be outside of like a cutscene? I mean, like you can do that for a cutscene, but real time, like, like, are you like shaking and stuff like that? <laughs> like, I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm just worried about the actual combat gameplay, like the on ground combat or mech combat, whatever they do. Uh, I'm not, you know, at this point, Monosoft is so good. I mean, I've talked about Xenoblade Three and like stuff that I'd like to see and all that, but it really doesn't matter. I just. I, I don't model soft is their their god tier developer status and when your god tier developer status you know i don't i don't question really what they do when it comes to certain things now obviously once the game comes out you can critique whatever i do that but like when they're in the planning phase i just let them do their thing you know it's like let them do their thing i'll talk about some certain stuff but whatever they come up with i'm excited to play so um we'll see when it actually comes out what they do uh you said hearing all these deals uh makes me want to be an american lol but at least ireland has uh, lucky charms <laughs> Well, um, to be honest, dude, a lot of these deals are worldwide. I mean, I mean, like a lot of these deals, like am like Amazon. A lot of them are worldwide. Like a lot of them have like Cyber Monday deals and stuff like that. That's everywhere. It's not just you know here in the U.S. Because uh, like there's a lot of people that are that, that celebrate Thanksgiving, you know, around the world. There are Americans or there are people from America in Ireland and in other parts. So I mean, I know it's not normal, and obviously the American lifestyle and like what we do here is completely different from other places, right? And deals and you know, currency and all that stuff, but there's definitely going to be some deals for everybody out there. Um, let's see here. Uh, p -p 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 why, uh, uh, White Montgomery says, players, since uh, there is uh, so much negative spin and contradictory uh, statements I have seen about Let's Go Sales, despite selling well, it's really bizarre. Yeah, I, I have no idea what Watchmoto is talking about. Um, they're trying to compare it to Pokemon. Uh, what they're doing is that they're trolling and they're trying to compare it to Pokemon Sun and Moon and Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But what they're not realizing is that the install bases for those were completely different. You're comparing the 3DS, which had a much, the 3DS literally had like a 20 million install base in Japan when <laughs> when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon uh, came out and also Sun and Moon. They had like, it had, it had a far bigger install base than um you know than than the switch has so they're they're clickbaiting and they're trolling that way if you look at it from like a like install base ratio and just even looking at it as like a side type of game it actually sold very very well um very very well so um yeah i would i wouldn't put much attention to what watch moto is trying to say they're they're definitely clickbaiting or they're just or they just they don't know what they're talking about or they're clickbaiting uh, because anybody that's going to sit there and say that Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee didn't sell well in Japan, you're absolutely crazy. We, we've got, we've got, or didn't sell well in general, dude. We've got sales numbers from Japan and without even digital sales. And which another thing, another reason why they're this is clickbait is that it, they're not even there's no digital sales numbers. Which digital sales for Nintendo are at their all time high. More people are downloading digital in Japan, not as much as physical, obviously, but more people are downloading digital than ever before. 3ds the people didn't download really anything digital on 3ds outside of like you know the you know virtual console or whatever certain types of the digital games that they have on there but the bigger games people didn't people just went out there and bought the games in the stores digital sales are so much higher for them to sit there and say oh it, it underperformed anything that's so dumb it's so dumb. I mean, like i said and i can debate anybody on this topic it's 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 silly you'll get you'll get crushed uh dr sirkin toto who is a certified like analyst for in japan he broke it down and he said, this is ridiculous that anybody, I mean, he broke down the sales numbers. He broke down the comparisons and everything and said, Pokemon Let's Go is, if not overachieving for its install base and what it's doing. So uh, for the sales just in Japan, I mean, the sales in Japan and in the UK by itself is nearly at a million. Like what? You know, like <laughs> this is ridiculous. I mean, Machimoto is no credibility whatsoever. I, I mean, at least with that video, no credibility. Um, 
Let's see here. Wasn't there a rumor about the SE rep? Do you think it might be Chrono? Uh, there was a rumor, but I don't think the rumor. I don't think it's real. And the rumor was actually included in the the main roster, not DLC. Um, Blazer Link says prices for Smash Ultimate. Which controller are you you using more? GameCube or Switch Pro? <laughs> GameCube. Uh, Switch it up says play since I agree they're getting uh, uh they're good. I feel I I felt bad getting it used. Next year I plan on getting the DLC. What what are you what are you talking about? Getting getting what used? What did you get used? Um, Michael O'Brien says, okay, never mind. He's talking to somebody else. Um, let's see here. Um, uh, DeAndre, what are, you, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, DeAndre? You said you didn't get your shout out. Yeah, actually, I did. I, I said I, I thank you for the five dollar pledge via Patreon. Uh, you didn't hear that. Uh, thank you again. If you didn't hear it, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, let's see. Uh, lots of uh, Americans in Australia. They think they uh, they entered a parallel timeline. What? <laughs> Uh, Patrick says, uh, places developers of Warframe are looking into how they, uh, add a limited offline mode. I would really like that. I'd really like a limited offline mode. I really don't like the fact that like, I, I, cause like the problem is that like, if you want to play the game, like right portable, right. You want to play the game if you're not at home, but you've got to like, it's an always online game. So you've got to like, you know, be on that. So, um, I'm hoping that they do that. I hope I'm hoping that they do that. Um, What's up? What'd you miss? Uh, you kind of missed most of the show so far. <laughs> I'll be honest. You kind of missed most of the show. But what you can do to help out is that you can hit that like button, guys. We got 140 something people watching. So there should be no reason why we can't get to 100 likes before the end of the show. Um, DeAndre Jackson says, Persons, I just signed up on Patreon. Can your boy get a, uh, get a headband? No. Oh, that's what I was trying to say, DeAndre. So here's the thing, DeAndre. Um, and I tried to explain it to you before. I said... I. Oh, shout outs to the Patreon pledge. <laughs> let me get that real quick. Shout outs to uh, Cedric Gamble as well with the Patreon pledge. Let me let me explain it. Thank you so much, Cedric, and thank you, DeAndre. So here's the thing, guys. With Patreon, I can't give you guys headbands. I can't give you guys emotes because it's not linked up with YouTube. That's the problem. That's what I was trying to explain beforehand. You get all the same benefits that a YouTube member would get, right? So you get to be on the disc, the exclusive Discord. You're going to be on my friends list. Um, all of that good stuff. You know, you get into PE Ultimate, Smash Brothers, Warframe, the Ninja Clan, all the stuff we're going to do. However, there's no way for me to link your channel and link it to where you get emotes as well. The emotes are exclusive to YouTube membership. So if you want, DeAndre, you can, um, you can resend your... I mean, you can resend your Patreon pledge and it already charged you, though, and I can give you your five dollars back and then you can um, you can go with YouTube if you if you really want the headband and the emotes and all of that. And you'll still have all the benefits of, of Patreon of a, of a tier two of a tier two and down. So you'll still have all that. So um, I, I tried to explain it to you beforehand. I'm not sure. I, maybe you just missed it um, with that, man. Um, also same thing, Cedric, same goes for you, man. Thank you so much for the Patreon pledge. I appreciate it. But if there was a way for me to link it, dude, that's the number one thing that I want. And I've, and I've given YouTube feedback. Hey, is there any way that we can link them? But I, I don't think that they will, because that means there'd have to be some type of revenue sharing with Patreon and YouTube. And that's not going to happen because YouTube already takes 30% of your memberships here. And then Patreon comes in how much are they going to get? Are they, how, is, how much are they going to ask? So, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen, you know? Um, so, yeah. I'm sorry about that. I, I tried to explain it beforehand. Um, so, let's see here. Um, Mav Intensify says, a player says, yeah, a Rex would be, uh, would be really uh, pretty great. Love playing Xenoblade. Uh, loved playing through Xenoblade Chronicles 2 as my first Xeno game, and think I could blow up. Uh, I think it could blow up like Fire Emblem did. Yeah, it, it definitely. I think I think Xenoblade, the next Xenoblade game, is definitely gonna blow up. When the next Xenoblade game comes out, or the next Monolith Soft game, as long as it's good, I think it's gonna sell three, four million copies. I think it's gonna be that that breakout. Like Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was the real breakout. Xenoblade Chronicles, the original, that was like the sum. That was the breakout success that they needed to kind of get things going. Xenoblade Chronicles 2 was the you know fist on the on the on the desk like like we've got it you know like we, we, like we made it you know what i'm saying like i'm not gonna say the full song but you know the uh you know we, we made it you know what i'm saying it was it was it's like that that was like we made it we go we in this piece you know what i'm saying so i think that um their next game is going to be that super breakout you know that 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 two million day one or first month two million lifetime four million or something like that so so yeah man 
Um, let's see. A Rambo Four says, "Questions: What's the first thing you usually eat on your plate on Thanksgiving?" I like to eat the dressing first. Um, yeah, the first thing that I eat, dude, is a turkey leg. There's the smoked turkey leg. It's really good. So that's the first thing that I eat. And the mashed potatoes, mashed potatoes, smoked turkey leg, good stuff, man. And football, football on TV. So that that's what I look for. Uh, Cedric, uh, Cedric is Blazerlink. Okay, Cedric is Blazerlink. What? Um, you're the same person. What? What's going on? Um. Oh, okay, that's you. Got it. Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, now I'm confused. Um, let's see. Tether Gaming says, uh, Player Sense, are you taking a break from the podcast tomorrow for the holidays? Yeah, we won't have the podcast tomorrow, but we should have the podcast on Friday if Jordan's okay with it. Captain Chaos with the subscription. Thank you so much. Welcome to Elite Ninja Village of Player Essence. Everybody in chat, please welcome Captain Chaos. Uh, let's see here. Um, you're done. <laughs> I bought three copies of Xenoblade 2, no regrets. Uh, yeah, me too. Well, no, I've got three copies of Xenoblade 2. I got a digital copy from Nintendo. I got a physical copy, a uh, regular physical copy, and then I got a special edition copy. Um, let's see here. Uh, uh, the first Xeno game was the breakout. Second was the solidification of their presence. And the next will be the show so they can complete, uh, compete with the big boys. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it as well um yeah man uh abstract what's up abstract entertainment how you doing today man uh smoked turkey legs is the best and this one's cooked like cave story like think of cave story think of like a cave think of legend is like legend of zelda think of that that first cave that you came out of think of it like a cave like that there's like some big old pillar in the center you know like breath of the wild think of it like that it's it's cooked it's smoked in a cave like that you can barely see the light out there you know what i'm saying you got like a big old stone slab right there and you just Oh, man, it is, and it's just like it's just slow cooked, like like just turning for a while, man. It, it it's it's so good, it's delicious, it's delicious. Uh, you were giving a shout out to Cedric, and just wanted to inform him that um that that's me pledging on Patreon on YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Well, Cedric also did that too. There was there was more. So yeah, shout outs. Um, Casual Verse says, uh, player says, any thoughts on how Smash third party character negotiations go? Um, is there licensing fee or are there uh, free inclusions? <laughs> There's no licensing fee. <laughs> So basically how it goes down is this is that Sakurai's like hey I like your, I, you know I like you know I like this character I mean would you you know can we have him and then there has to be legal stuff the right copyrights and all that but most of the time it's you want to use him go ahead we'll deal with the legal stuff later you want to use him go ahead I mean like Hideo Kojima was like oh you want to use Snake go ahead there was no like licensing fee and all that it's it's free like it's free and I think that's the biggest problem with Sora that's the biggest problem with Sora is that Disney probably wants something. They probably want something. And that's the reason why Sora is probably not going to be in Smash Bros. Unless there's something. But there's no way in hell Nintendo's paying paying Disney for Sora. So, or licensing fee for Sora. I mean, Sora's awesome. And obviously people want Sora. But he ain't that great to pay. No. No. Smash Bros. doesn't need Sora. Um, like that. It'd be great to have him. Don't get me wrong. He's an icon. But we ain't we ain't paying for it. <laughs> Sakurai Sakurai's a, he's a smart businessman, and Nintendo's smart. Obviously, they ain't paying for it though. Um, let's see here. Yeah, just have an American account. Exactly, have an American account. Um, how do I feel about Warframe story so far? I don't care about Warframe story, but it's fine. Uh, nothing says player since I, I hate uh, when Let's Go was revealed, and then uh, the YouTubers say that they ain't gonna buy it because it was too easy or boring. Dude, it, it is Pokemon. Well, I mean that's fine. They're entitled to their opinion, but a lot of the YouTubers went out there and bought it though. Um, let's see here. Uh, what's up, Don, what's up, Don G Gaming? How you doing today? He says no. I'll stay at Patreon. I already bought uh, bought and and you do great content. Um, uh, I'm mainly here for Warframe and Smash. It's my fault. I'm trying to do all this on my phone, uh, glitching out on me. Uh, like I said, you can, you can, I can give you your money back, dude. And then if you want to just do YouTube membership, that's fine. It's no problem because it already charged you. I can just um, give me a PayPal. Like hit me up on Twitter. Just give me your PayPal. I'll give you your five bucks back, man. And then just go on YouTube and just go through YouTube, man. So if you want to just do the YouTube membership right now, then just cancel your uh, your Patreon. And then I will give you your money. If you want to. I mean, if you really want the emotes and all that. I mean, you get the same benefits just without the emotes. So it's up to you, man. I have no problem uh, doing that if, if, if you want to do it. You know, so let me know. Uh, Michael O'Brien says, uh, he says, stop, bro. Now yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, dude. <laughs> all right, guys. I'm only going to be I'm gonna be on for just about two to three more minutes. I got to go pick up my brother from the train station. Um, or sorry, from the from the uh, the bus station. I got to go get some gas. I got to put some gas in my car first. So I got to do all that. So I'll be on for just a couple more minutes here. If you got some questions, uh, line them up for me, and I'll answer them for like about two to three more minutes, guys. 
Um, let's see here. Uh, with uh, Michael O'Brien says, uh, with bigger in terms of memory games like Doom or Xenoblade, do you prefer to get physical um, physical and only get the smaller uh, size games on the eShop? I mean, that's my that's my preference. Whenever it's a bigger game, I like to have it physical so I can save some of that space, right? Um, Andy Mine says, uh, can you show some pictures of that cave if you're allowed to do it uh no i can't i don't first of all i don't know where she lives i don't know where she does it i'm not i don't think she's gonna let people show pictures of her she, don't, she doesn't want people stealing her techniques she's like super super uh turkey lady here so she don't want people stealing her techniques so i, I don't think she's let me do that um let's see here um let's see here uh places thoughts on the cyber uh sale on the e-shop it's good man i'm looking forward to getting a uh, bastion on some other um indie titles good stuff um Okay, that's cool. That's cool, Dungeon. Just hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up and let me let me know it's you, man. Um, let's see here. Uh, Warframe is good, but it takes the battery kind of fast. Yeah, because it's it's always online, so you have to have that online enabled, right? So that's the reason why uh, it takes the battery real quick because you always have to have your Wi-Fi enabled on there, and it's it's an intensive game, man. I mean, there's a lot of stuff going on, so yeah, that's the reason why it drains your battery. Um, let's see here. Um, favorite Pokemon. My favorite Pokemon is Arcanine. Um, quick question. How do I give you uh, a friend code on switch so we can play smash if that's possible? Yeah, blazer link uh, Really all you got to do um, is on the discord. There's a, on the discord There is a friend code share put it on there and then of course show up the best part way is Just basically just show up you have the discord link so you'll know when we're gonna be doing things You'll be able to talk to me directly on discord um, And just show up on the night when smash comes out and everybody like when we play like we're gonna be streaming pretty much all day um, and I'll probably be taking, I'll probably be playing games later in the, in the night or in the morning or whatever the case is. And, or whenever we do the things and just, just come to the discord when we do that and you'll be added in then, you know, you'll be added in then as well. So, uh, happy Thanksgiving, Wyatt. Happy Thanksgiving, man. Demo of, um, Katamari. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the Japanese eShop. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Pancho Rubio says, player, since YouTube membership, um, gets me on your Nintendo Switch friends list. Yes, it does. YouTube membership. Yeah, it definitely does um definitely does my boy uh poncho um although i've got to probably stop streaming right now at this point guys i'll answer a couple more uh let's see abstract says i got a question what if nintendo actually made it uh, an open world game well they have uh xenoblade chronicles um x is definitely open world so i mean they, they've made an open world game before legend of zelda breath of the wild that's an open world game as well so they've made they've made open world games so so yeah, they're good. The open world games that they've made are good. <laughs> J2 Blue says, uh, players, so what are your thoughts on PlayStation All Stars? I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, does your brother have a Switch yet? My brother does have a Switch yet. Um, which pie do I prefer? I don't like pie at all. Um, it was a surprise Pikachu. Huh? <laughs> uh, how do I make a Japanese eShop account? Go on, go on YouTube and uh, look at the tutorials for that, guys. It's actually pretty easy. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and wrap it up for this one. I gotta go pick up my big Onichan at the um, at the bus station. Thank you guys for coming out for the stream. I might do if he wants to. We might do a Warframe stream tonight where me and him play. Uh, so we might do a Warframe stream tonight. So look forward to that. Maybe, maybe. Um, if you haven't seen my videos for today, please make sure you check out the videos. Uh, we got a lot of good stuff already up on the channel. So make sure you guys check out the videos. Also check out our Super Smash Brothers Ultimate Lives or uh, giveaway. Um, if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this for some reason, we do have a super special for those giveaway. So make sure you check that out and watch the videos for today, guys. I talk more about the Pokemon sales. I talk more about my love for Warframe. I talk about some other cool stuff. So make sure you watch the videos and watch my gameplay of Warframe as well. As well. If you want to see me freaking about freaking out about how good the game is, watch it. Uh, watch my gameplay. Dude. It's three hours long, but you don't have to watch all three hours, obviously. You can just kind of watch parts. I mean, I'm freaking out, especially at the beginning of the game. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys all have a happy Thanksgiving and I look forward to my thank you video tomorrow as well. I'll have that up probably in the morning. So look forward to that too. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.